Alright guys, um, this is you from Coffee Fukuoka. Today I have two filter papers and what I will show you today is um, how you can fold uh, your coffee paper. So basically, um, there are many ways to fold your coffee paper. Some people don't even fold it. Um, the reason that we usually um, fold this side and then this side and um, for the uh, for the cone dripper, just hold on. And for the cone dripper, it's um, this side where you have these little um, ribs, right? Little ribs. Okay. So um, the reason that we do fold this is so that um, we make sure that the coffee sort of doesn't. Um, we make sure that the water um, drips out evenly because. Um, if you just use it like this, if you just use it um, like this, these the this this part is sort of going to um, be protruding um, from the bottom, meaning that it's going to create a bit of this um, this height in the bottom right of the dripper, and you don't want that, um, and that's also going to create a very uneven distribution of water so you want to fold it um, and that makes it easier for the this paper to go inside the dripper as well and also the same thing goes for the side you need to make sure this is also uh, folded um, so that it can properly stick to the dripper as well now um, w which way to fold it there's a few ways I mean there's only two ways really but basically I want you to look at it like this so this paper you have um, a very soft side and then you have a hard side this is a bit hard this is the soft side see this bends really easily but when you flip it over this one bends a bit it's a bit more difficult for this side to bend what you want to do is you want to find your easier side to bend and you want to this is the easier side to bend you want to fold towards the easier side to bend. You want to start from the bottom. So you bend like this towards the easier side. And then you want to then fold this, uh, the side ribs like this. Now, why do we fold towards the easier side? Um, the reason is so that we can toughen up the easier side because now you can see it's a bit it's a bit tougher and that's because we have sort of made it stronger we've reinforced the strength by folding it towards the easier side so now when you open this you can see that it's very um, it's very easy for the paper to stay like this right it's very easy for it to stay like this now let's say that we do it the other way so instead of um, folding it towards the easier side so this is the easier side what we'll do is we'll fold towards the hard side this is the hard side okay so since this is the hard side you're gonna fold towards the hard side from the bottom okay and then the side Okay, and then now we're gonna open it. There we go. You can see the difference, right? Now look, I'm opening it, but it closes. I'm op I'm opening it, but it closes. But compared to this one, this one I open it, and it stays. I open it, it stays. I open it, it closes. I open it, it closes. Right? This is much uh, smaller in terms uh, compared to this one and this one I can already feel that this is gonna stay this way so guys that's the reason um, I fold it like this and um, I would suggest that you use this way because it's gonna make uh, it's gonna make the paper a lot stronger and a lot sturdier um, I'm just gonna give you a test so this one is the stronger one um, I'm gonna put this in the dripper 
and I will put it on a cup and then we'll put some hot water. Okay, so here now we're gonna put uh, the hot water on the sturdier one, okay? So let's see. So as you can see, it properly sticks onto the dripper, right? This is what you want. This is what you want. Okay, now let's change... Um, now we're gonna change the dripper. Sorry, we're gonna change the paper. I'm just going to quickly um, dry the dripper so I don't have to see the paper stick to it. Okay, now we're going to use the soft dripper. Um, and it doesn't really matter which way you, you know, the side, um, the side of the dripper, which way you put it, it doesn't really matter too much. So don't worry about that. So this is a soft one. You can see how it's very difficult for me to even um, push this in and then, you know, let it stay the way it's, it's supposed to be. And that's because this one is is uh, a lot weaker. It's not sturdy, and that's why it just tries to go back to its original form, as you can see. So it just pops out. So I'll try and now stabilize it using the water. But you can already see how much more difficult it is. Okay, now, I don't know if you've noticed, but look at here, look at this area here. You can see how this part is sort of trying to fold in towards itself, right? You can already see that, right? So this is um, one reason why I don't like to fold um, it like this, because when you fold it like this, this paper is so much weaker and it tries to um, collapse onto itself. So this is w one thing that might happen. So what you might get is something like this, or like when you put in your coffee beans, um, the paper is just going to be like this, which makes it a lot more uneven. It makes it more difficult for the coffee to uh, drop a lot easily. So that's what uh, you want to avoid, basically. Alright, so let's review. So as I said, um, the paper has a soft side, um, a soft side, and then a hard side. Soft side, hard side. This one you will you will know um, when you actually have the paper in hand. You'll know which side is soft and which side is hard. What you want to do is you want to find the soft side. Okay, this one, this side is soft, and you want to fold towards. You want to fold towards your soft side, right? So fold here and then fold here, the side. And that's how you can create um, a really sturdy sort of paper. And that's probably the way that you should fold your paper. And for the, uh, for the cone shaped dripper, this is the same. You also have the soft side and then you have the hard side. This is the soft side. So uh, if uh, this is the soft side, you want to fold uh, towards towards the soft side so if this is the soft side it's like this you wanna this is the soft so you fold it this way right so you fold the edge here you fold it this way and that's how you can also create a sturdy paper for your uh, cone shaped dripper Alright guys, so I hope you were able to understand and get a lot of insight from this. I will see you in the next module.